Codependent relationships are a complicated subject. It's so complicated, in fact, that in the TV series Rick and Morty, they have this complex process of creating a creature that's based on the emotions and the relationship of each person. What ends up happening is that Morty's parents go through this process and the creatures that are created because they have a codependent relationship codependent. are so vicious that they end up tearing down the entire station and killing hundreds of people. Now, that's a fictional event on codependent relationships, but in real life, a codependent relationship that's not healthy for both people can feel like that same monster in your life. So I'm gonna go through four reasons why so few codependent relationships are successful, and hopefully this helps at least one person recognize these signs in their life so they can take healthy steps in a good direction. Let's get started. Number one is there is a very fine line between being codependent and being completely dependent. Most codependent people will spend a lot of time with the other person, which can be great to build a relationship when you rely on the other person for emotional support. You might spend a lot of time together. It can be very easy to become completely dependent on that person for your emotional stability, for your health, for your mental sanity. And what that means is there's so much in the other person's hand that if they don't do something that, that is exactly in line with how you perceive something or how you want something to happen, then you personally start to feel the effects very strongly. This means anytime that you are not their complete focus, your needs might fall to the wayside and because you're so dependent on them, it harms you far more than anybody else. The second reason codependent relationships can be very risky is emotional isolation with your partner. If you have a bad day at work, or somebody says something unkind about you, then that person is the only one who you'd go to, who you'd talk to, and other friendships and relationships that you might have had before will fall by the wayside and it will just become this person. This gives this single person a lot of control over your emotional state. And even if they have the best intentions, that pressure and responsibility is tough for a lot of people. Number three is when you spend so much time together, nothing is special. Think about how special school would be if you went for one hour a week, your teachers were at the highest energy, all your friends were there, you get to socialize. School would become one of the best memories of your childhood. It would feel a lot more novel simply because it happened less often. With relationships, if you spend so much time together, then nothing begins to feel special. In a very real sense, separation does make the heart grow fonder. The fourth reason that so few codependent relationships are successful is that whoever has the stronger personality in the relationship typically will win out and they become the de facto decision maker for everything. So what ends up happening is there's two people who have really strong personalities and they're always clashing or one is higher than the other, and this person isn't willing to fight on every single issue, and then this person ends up making every single decision of what they should wear, where they should eat, where they spend their time, and even huge life decisions, such as where they should move, if they should take this job, if they should have children. This leads to the person who's not making the decisions feeling ostracized, and that they're just a pawn in this person's game. These are experiences that I've seen from codependent relationships and why so few of them are successful. If I had to sum everything up, it's that when you're codependent, there's so much relying on that single person that any slight deviation in the teeter-totter causes it to smash in one direction. If you've had a codependent relationship that's worked or that has not worked, or you have other ideas, please share your ideas. Let me know in the comments. You're awesome. See ya.